Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the narcissist has a new supply and it's a pet. Think about that. Yes, this is real guys. Guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. So the narcissist, they, they, when you were with them, they were getting um, low on, on your supply and, and other people's supply. So what they do, or what they did in my case, and I'll get into it in a moment, is they need new supplies, something just totally recharge their battery and to give them more supply. And guess what it is? That's right, it's a pet. Now, the narcissist gets supply from a pet for many reasons. Why? One of which is because a pet is nonstop. Let's say it's a dog in this example. A dog is nonstop wagging its tail, loving people, just going crazy. It's full of energy and it's a conversation piece. And if it's the narcissist dog, then many people will be like, oh, you have a new puppy, this is, a, this is beautiful. See, it's, it's, it's another way to get them attention and supply. If you really think about it, this is completely true. And I'm gonna get into my situation in a moment, but the narcissist doesn't just get supply from human beings. They get it from situations, from events, and from pets, and so many other things. But a pet is meant to be one thing. It's meant to be just that, a pet, a companion, a part of the family some some uh, animal that you love and, and you take care of and nurture and watch it grow and spend time with and and that's beautiful especially a dog I mean all pets are beautiful all animals and creatures are beautiful but a dog let's be real it, it has a special place in your heart or maybe a cat the point be being is like you know let's say you come home from a long day of work or whatever and what's a, what's one of the first things that's gonna be at the door waiting for you yeah it's gonna be your dog like wagging its tail like just it just can't get enough of you and the dog can hear you coming from around the corner or smell you and all these things. It's beautiful. The dog is man's best friend or a person's best friend. And that's for a reason. But with the narcissist, they don't look at it this way. They look at a dog as a way to get attention and to get supply. And trust me, they do. You see, when they get the new dog or the puppy, whatever it is, let's just call it a dog, everyone wants to meet the dog and everyone's like oh my gosh this is a beautiful how did you get it and the narcissist tells the story over and over and over again and that's what they do now behind closed doors I'm not saying the narcissist does or does not take care of the dog that's not for me to say in this video I'm saying that it's a source of supply and this believe me when I tell you this runs dry pretty quick like in other words the supply isn't there forever why because the, the narcissist did not get the dog for companionship and because they wanted a pet and wanted a, a dog in their life. They did it for one reason, to get them, which is the narcissist, attention, and to get them more limelight, and to get them more, people more focused on them. In other words, to get them supply. So when the lust, uh, what's it called? When, when you know, when the, 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 the aura of the new pet kind of wears off, and the, let's say the puppy becomes a dog and grows up, is the narcissist really focused on the dog? I'm willing to guess no. And I'm, again, I'm gonna jump into my situation in a moment. But no, because it's not a cute little puppy anymore, it's a dog. Now keep in mind, dogs are beautiful. Every, every creature on the planet's beautiful. But it's not the same, it doesn't hold its value because the dog has become old. N not age-wise, but like it, it's, it's not a nice new shiny object. You see, it's similar to your relationship with the narcissist. You once were that little puppy, and you once were the, once were the shiny, bright object, the new thing, and the narcissist loved to show you off and show you around town and everything. And then, as you became stale, your supply became stale, the narcissist began to devalue, be, devalue you, look for new sources of supply, rinse, wash, repeat, like we mentioned here all the, on the channel frequently. It's the same thing with the puppy. Now, what, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because I was thinking about this this morning. I've had three, personally, I've had three dogs in my life. One when I was a young boy, and that dog last, uh, survived, I think 11 years, no, 14 years, I believe. And it was a, a, a puppy I adopted. Um, um, a mutt, you, you would call them. I don't know what they're called these days, but a mutt. It was beautiful. I loved the dog. And then I had two dogs here in Costa Rica, and one had an unfortunate uh, short life expectancy, like it just it died suddenly, and that's just the way it, that's the way it works. And then I had my other dog for 13 years, and she was incredible. And all three dogs were incredible. I loved them, but these were lifelong friends of mine, and they were pets, and they were they were part of my family, whether I was single or in a relationship. It didn't matter. They were my family. Now with the narcissist in my six year marriage, the narcissist picked up three dogs. Yes, three, in a six year period. And to this day, I sincerely can't say what happened to the third one. Maybe the third one's still with the narcissist, I don't know. But the first two didn't, didn't last. 
and what happened with them? Um, let's just say they're not around anymore. I don't know the exact details, but what I do know is when these these pets were were picked up, they were picked up from an orphanage, orphanage or a pound, whatever you call it, once, and this was years ago, and it was brought home unbeknownst to me. And the second time, as mentioned in a previous video, it was the exact same way. These two mysterious dogs, like I didn't even know we were going to get a dog, and and all of a sudden we had the the narcissist brought home. A dog on two different occasions. Why? To get supply. Now, at the time, I didn't realize it. At the time, I just thought, wow, this is, you know, I wasn't really happy because that wasn't discussed with me. That's for a whole different video. But the point is, they brought home a dog two different occasions during my six year marriage, neither of which survived. And I'm not trying to be negative on, on the channel or anything. I'm just letting you know that they brought the, these do the dog back to our house for supply and I didn't know it at the time I just thought they were bringing the, the, the dogs home for the kids and have companionship and love that wasn't the case and this hit me this morning when when I was thinking about this because if you have a, a pet let's say a dog again it's part of your family and you put it as a priority you really do you take care of it like it's it's your best friend and that's what I did that's why I've had I've had three dogs in my life that's it and eventually one day I probably will get another dog but that you only do it when you're ready. You don't just, it's not like you get a dog, you go to, it's not like you go to the grocery store and pick up a loaf of bread and say, okay, here's food today, you know, here's a loaf of bread. And then you, then, oh, I think I'll get a dog today and go to the pound and pick one up. That's what the narcissist did in my situation, in my relationship. They did it twice. And I could never quite figure it out, like, why would they do this other than to think, like I said, I mentioned the second time in a previous video, but I was thinking maybe they just wanted to, you know, to keep the kids, give the kids a pet and things. It wasn't. It was to give them uh, attention and supply. And why am I saying this now? I'm saying it because it hit me. Because when the, when the narcissist brought the pet, the, the two dogs home, they were gallivanting and parading the pets around like it was a newborn baby. They really were. And the luster wore, uh, wore off pretty quickly. And then the dog just became part of the family and that's the way it works. I hope I'm being clear on this video, but that's exactly what it was. It was supply for the narcissist. It wasn't about the kids. It certainly wasn't about me. It was about the narcissist. And you know what? The more I think about it, I'm thinking about this during the video right now, they actually put the dog in front of the kids. Because the one time they picked out the dog, they did it without the kids even knowing. And, this, and it, we were in a car, it's a whole different video. And the second time they did it to appease one of the kids, leaving the other child isolated and alone but I don't want to get into the kids I'm just saying that the narcissist did this for themselves and it's 100% real it's supply so the narcissist knew supply it could be a pet it was in my case when I ran dry and I I was being devalued and the kids weren't enough either for the narcissist they got a pet and they did it twice and this is for a whole series I should probably do on, on pets and the narcissist but I'm letting you know pay attention and if you have comments if you experience this too that the narcissist just mysteriously brings home a pet and thinks it's, it's, you know, um, how do I say, it? it's the best thing. And then maybe a week or two weeks later, they just, just, you know, don't care about the pet, or maybe they give it away because they can't handle it or whatever. Think about it. That's supply. It's supply for the narcissist. It's 100% real. I've seen it happen in my relationship twice. And the more I think about it, probably there's other situations like this too. But guys, I wanted to drop this video because the new supply, it doesn't have to be human being. In this case, it was a dog two different times. So guys, I hope you liked the video. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. God bless you. Namaste. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy. Be blessed and have a beautiful day. I love you all. God bless you. Bye.